Live from Orlando, Florida, extracting the signal from the noise, it's theCUBE, covering Enterprise Connect 2016. Brought to you by Oracle ZDLRA, Vonage, and Cafe X. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Zontazanio. Hello everyone, welcome to theCUBE special on the ground presentation. This is supported by our sponsors, thanks to Oracle, ZDLRA, Zero Data Loss Appliance, Vonage, and Cafe X. Thanks for your support for allowing theCUBE to come and cover the unified communications. Here at Enterprise Connect, I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm here with Craig Walker, who's the CEO of Dialpad, formerly Switch.co. Um, great story behind the name. You're going to hear this word dial pad more and more. Entrepreneur, CEO, congratulations. Welcome to theCUBE. Yeah, thanks for having me here. So great story, you've been an entrepreneur, you sold your company Yahoo, Dialpad, you get the domain back, change your name from Switch to Dialpad, but more importantly, you're back in a world where as an entrepreneur and, a, and having a growing company that you're in, is a perfect storm. The cloud, mobile, disrupting and changing the user experience, and now the telephony telephone, which is essentially software on a device yeah. with the internet and a computer, yeah. it's completely changing the game. So share your thoughts, because this is a whole paradigm. If, you're, if, you start a, if anyone starts a company in the past five years, probably doesn't have a data center or an IT shop, yeah. or probably doesn't even have phones. Yeah, that's exactly right. And um, the switch to dial pad as a name is exactly that. Like, a dial pad is how you initiate a call, right? And it's going to be on your computer, it's going to be on your watch, it's going to be on your smartphone, it may even be on a desk phone. So we really love the brand. But we've been doing uh, voice over IP since 2001, and left Yahoo in 2005 after they bought, bought Dialpad the first time, um, and started Grand Central, became Google Voice, and then now we're doing Dialpad again, just bought the domain back from Yahoo. Um, and it's all about enterprise communications, right? And it's, if your business is moving to the cloud, or if your business is in the cloud for its email and its calendar and its everything else and its documents and its drive, then it makes absolutely no sense for you not to enable the business phone system to go with you wherever you go, mobile first, cloud first. Craig, you have such a perspective because you talk about Grand Central, you talk about unified communications. Back then, unification was one phone number, a multiple phone numbers, Google Voice, among yeah. the others. You guys powered a lot of that stuff. Remember those days. But it's not the phone anymore. The thing about the iPhone, which is not even 10 years old, is it's a computer with that app of software that runs telephone calls. Yeah. That's all, one feature yeah. of the computer. Yeah. This has changed the game. So yeah. now, people have prolific, uh, prolif proliferated cell phone usage is huge. Everyone has an iPhone or an Android phone. Yeah. And the office phone has become a relic. Yeah, it definitely I'm, has. And we're, like, we're, we're partnered with Sprint. Sprint's one of our great partners who were actually in their booth here. And we're part of their mobility as a service thing. And that, that entire pitch is, you don't need a desk phone you need a mobile phone, right? And your mobile phone can be your personal phone and your business phone all in one because Swit or Dialpad, Dialpad allows your personal phone to have two personalities. So if I'm making a work call, I'll use the Dialpad app. If I'm making a personal one, I'll use my, you know, just the native dialer. And at the end of the day, I have my inbox, I have presence for my entire company, I have the entire company directory always, you know, up to date and current. I can message, I can MMS, I can SMS, I can do it all and I can do it all with my own device. As soon there's going to be a Snapchat for the enterprise. You want those <laughs> calls to go away. Yeah. <laughs> it's never, they never go away. Yeah. Okay, so let's get back. I want you to share yeah. with the folks out there that are watching, what is really going on in this space? Because again, it's a unique time. Mm -hmm. Why is this time in history for your business and for all businesses, the digital transformation, whatever the, the buzzword people are calling it, it's a fundamental shift. And the people that are out there building companies, spending cash to create value for their business, mm -hmm. your customers' customers, What's the big deal? Why is this whole thing important? What's the big driver? Is it the cloud, is it mobile, all the above? What's your take? Share your thoughts. Yeah, I think it's all the above. I mean, the, the way people coming out of college today, the way they work is entirely different than when I came out of college, where you were expected to go to work Monday through Friday and sit at your desk most of the day, right? Um, our own company, we're 140 people, we work from home a couple days a week. Super productive, because whether I'm at home, whether I'm in the office, it really doesn't matter. My, my business communications goes with me, all my documents go with me, I'm on my mobile phone, I'm traveling, I'm here in Florida. It's as if I'm at work, because I'm now connected through that mobile device. And that's the reason now is the cloud and the standards, like WebRTC is this amazing open source standard that has really, really, really high quality voice engine and codecs in it, that now we can build on top of. So it's just, it, it's a perfect storm of 
businesses wanting to make their employees more productive, and now the, the systems and the, the tools and the services. And the like horsepower of the cloud, you have compute now everywhere. You mentioned yeah. WebRTC, which is trending yesterday on Twitter. Yeah. Um, it's been around for a while, but now more than ever, real time matters. Yeah. And the browser and the JavaScript, all this is happening. This is the technology. Is it, is it a timing of everything? I think it's a timing of everything. Like, back in the days, like, WebEx used to have to download a client and everyone who wanted to join your meeting would have to download a client. That's crazy. Now it's all in the browser. Everyone's living in the browser. You just go straight to your Chrome app or go to Chrome, hit a tab, and you have basically a really powerful next-gen communication platform sitting there in the browser. It's amazing. So my company, SiliconANGLE Media, Dave Vellante and I run that. We have about 35 people. We don't have a data center. We don't have servers in a telephone closet. We don't even have telephones. Yeah. We all have cell phones. Yeah. So we, as we go the next level, we're a small company growing, but there's companies with thousands of people out there that have phones that are moving to your, the dial pad business model. This is the new way, the generational mm -hmm. shift you mentioned, but now let's talk about the legacy. Those people that are running companies aren't millennials, yeah. but they also have to serve millennials as employees and customers. That's right. Why is this successful? And give an example of, of someone who's used Dialpad uh, with, with Google, for instance, and share an example you, you, you did on the keynote. Sure, yeah, a great example is Motorola Solutions. 100-year-old company out of Schaumburg, Illinois, 22,000 employees worldwide, 165 offices in 60 different countries, and they have you know, an older workforce and a younger workforce. And so they're like, how do we build for the future? And when they moved to Google Apps, when they moved their email and their documents, and their calendar to the cloud, their phone system absolutely had to follow with it, right? So they've saved more than seven, like they won't give me the exact numbers, but over seven figures a year by moving to Swift or Dialpad. And not only that, the employees are more productive. So they're seeing more and more engagement and more and more communication between employees. They're able to actually measure the minutes that used to go on their PBX versus what's going on on Dialpad. And it's going back up because people are able to use their mobile, mobile phones to do work. Great story about you just changed your name to Dialpad just yesterday, which is a company you sold to Yahoo, and you got the domain back from Yahoo, and they were cool about that. So new name, congratulations. But what's the big plans? We're going to be see, seeing Dialpad everywhere. What's the branding plans? What are you guys going to be doing this year? Share your thoughts on what you guys are going to be doing. Yeah, so, uh, so the big brand plan for us is Dialpad, obviously, and um, more and more partnership type stuff. So Google's a great partner. Sprint, we mentioned, is a great partner. We have. We have great partnership with all the Google Apps resellers, so we're getting out into a lot of these opportunities because of our partnerships. And then we're just going to continue adding more and more functionality to the product. We have another product called Uber Conference that makes conference calling really, really, really simple. No pins, we give you a URL so you can see everyone on the call and you know who's talking and you get the LinkedIn profiles of everyone on your conference call. We're going to start putting those that functionality into Dialpad as well. And so it's just going to continue to be, and this is the beauty of the cloud, right? These large enterprise Motorola is just going to get that. It's just going to appear. There's no upgrade path, there's no IT push. It just happens. So that's and software kind of, is driving all this. Yeah, software is driving all of it. All right, Craig Walker here in theCUBE. Thanks for watching on the ground. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. I'm John Furrier. Thanks for watching. Thank you.